Hey guys, Books Nelson here, back with another video. And today we're going to be looking at this NCAA trailer. Sound is off for copyright reasons, but I'm going to be talking over it anyway. So let's let the trailer rock, and you guys can judge for yourself how it looks. So, first off the bat, I'm not leaving 2K to cover NCAA, but I did want to talk about what the release of NCAA could possibly mean for 2K. See, NCAA has traditionally been a better playing game than um than madden has right there's usually just been a better feel to ncaa and it's much more of a beloved franchise like in the hearts of the community now pertinent to the 2k community so people always talk about competition for 2k even though like take a person like me i'm a much bigger basketball fan than I am a football fan, and I'm a bigger NFL fan than I am a college football fan. But as a gamer, I love the college football NCAA franchise from EA because just the school atmosphere, building up a you know a dynasty or a character, the road to glory, that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. I love my career stuff um, and that sort of stuff. And and I might do some content on the road to glory of my career just to go through that and see how it is. I'm not good at you know madden or ncaa so if you're looking for that for the best player this is the wrong place but i might you know enjoy myself and if you guys just wanted to enjoy the game from a casual context with me uh i would i would post that content but i'm going to play it regardless whether i post it who knows now we talk about right now and and you know obviously my team is a horror show right now and so a lot of my team creators are leaving and looking to do other things DBG's doing NBA content. Uh, Ty Debo actually, you know, sort of said some things I really liked about what he's moving towards in terms of, um, we'll play this again, what he's moving towards in terms of doing more curated content, more storytelling content. I wish Ty the best of luck. I think that's going to be great uh, for him. I hope it's going to be great for him. So he's talking about doing his own My Career, you know, doing franchise stuff, doing some storytelling stuff with 2K, doing some Road to Glory stuff with um you know college football here but for the my team community i think it is important to talk about the competition factor with 2k as a sport there's no competition football fans are football fans basketball fans are basketball fans some are both but they all have really really big audiences that that was crazy <laughs> they all have really big audiences that um don't overlap but when it comes to the card mode i just wanted to highlight and we talk about elevating the conversation how the entertainment industry looks at other products as competition even when they're not direct competition so even though there is no ea basketball game as competition make no mistake every card mode Every ultimate team style mode is competing with each other for the same resources and the same kind of dopamine, right? That same feeling of pulling packs, like a pack opening video, that same kind of stuff. Each one of these guys wants to be the top of the heap as far as that goes. And they do look to each other as competition. And I will say, if the ultimate team in this mode is good and people move toward, towards it, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. Every single part of me that knows anything about 2K 100% believes that 2K will be aware of it and they will react to it. So as the audience of those kinds of modes, right, as fans of those modes, I'm just saying to be aware of that. Be aware that I don't, I don't think it's a realistic thing to think everybody's going to leave a basketball game and go to a football game in a way that that's not a direct one-to-one -one translation. However, if people are really enthusiastic about this new ultimate team and 2K can literally see, and they will have the data, and 2K can literally see this is hurting us, they'll say the next question is, what are they doing that we can do to fight back? And that puts the power into your hands as the consumer base. So I'm not saying to go to, to you know, and college football ultimate team to, to, to hurt 2K. I'm just saying if you do, 2K will react. 
Now, even with that, let's not pretend that EA is, you know, some great studio that always thinks about the customer first. The new boss is the same as the old boss, right? So there's going to be some things about it that are certainly better than my team because my team is literally the worst right now. But that doesn't mean that this will be good. That doesn't mean they're not going to be going for your pockets. They won't be trying to gouge you. Hold them accountable the same way you hold 2K accountable. It does no one any good to be so angry at 2K that you allow EA to profit off of unscrupulous predatory practices, right? So I wanted to say that as well. I throw my full support behind any content creator moving on from 2K because of what 2K is doing right now. I'm not. I'm 10 tones down. I'm just too much of a basketball fan. And also, I know this might sound crazy. I actually like 2K, but part of that is because I play so much Wreck. And Wreck is a way better mode. If my team was the only mode I played, I'd be so much angrier at 2K. I would even say there's probably no way I'd have a channel if that was my only outlet because there are so many things in my team that need so much work from the gameplay to the features, obviously with the way they use the community to extract resources and fix their bottom line, all that stuff. Not going to re-talk about that stuff right now, but I really enjoy 2K. I look forward to 2K. I dislike the things that are bad about 2K, but at the end of the day, it does give me my basketball fix. It allows me to play with my friends. And when it comes to my team, the one thing that I still enjoy in my team, I do enjoy actually getting the cards when I'm able to get them. And I think most of us do, which is why we're so angry in the first place. So bringing it back full circle, if this mode is better about those things and people are enthusiastic about it, 2K will respond. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, but man, an ultimate team and FIFA, blah, blah. Yeah, but those are established. This is a new threat to resources, right? That matters. It matters that, and, and also this is um, a different, slightly, not, not a major different part of the cycle, but it is an extra month or two, two months, I think, of EA being in that market. This is a whole new release for EA, right? So Madden comes out in August, 2K comes out in September. That's one form of competition. But now college football comes out in, what is it, June or July or whatever. And it's like, ooh, okay. So now EA in the, the part of the cycle, the way you know I imagine 2K thinks, the part of the cycle that EA is now horning in on directly affects my team in those months. That earnings difference will matter. So if they see, ooh, when college football comes out in this month, our earnings has this reaction, our audience has this reaction, they might do things to retain the my team audience in, in response to that. I'm not saying that's definite. I'm just trying to let you know how these companies think when they're looking at their quarterly earnings, at their month over month earnings, and you know the way they look at drops and, and spikes and react to competition in the market. I just wanted to make, you know, look at the trailer, let you guys see the trailer. Trailer looks good. Uh, again, I will most likely get the game and do Road to Glory at a minimum on my own. And if people care to see it at all, I'm, I might throw it on the channel anyway if I record the whole thing. But really wanted to talk about content creators leaving 2K, going to this mode, players going to this mode, even if it's just a thing where for the three months that this is out, three, four months this is out before 2K comes out, you're like, okay, my team's dead now, so I'm switching. That matters. That matters to 2K. And I wanted you guys to understand what power the community has in response to this new sports game, this new titan of a sports game potentially coming out and dramatically altering the landscape of not just sports games in general, but specifically of card collector style modes. And on that one, I will let the trailer play out. Obviously, no sound because we are not trying to get monetized and get copyright stricken right away. <laughs> but yeah, this looks good. Hopefully, it's super duper fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and for those of you who are looking forward to it as well, I hope it's a really good game. 
And uh, yeah, that's it for this part of the discussion. I will see you guys in the next one. Let's keep elevating the conversation. Please like and subscribe and peace.